choose. So in this example, it says A is five. So I would say that A would be the shorter side. Would you agree? So this would be angle A. And then B would be the longer side. So I'll call this angle B. So we have five for side A. We have 12 for side B. So right now I've labeled the appropriate parts of the triangle. Is there any question about that? For the people who were gone yesterday, again, 5 is A. Little a is the side. Big A is the angle. They are opposite each other. So as I write this out, C is 90 degrees. Side A is 5. Side B is 12. A for the day. Who can tell me how to come up with side C? Pythagorean theorem. So I take 5 squared plus 12 squared is equal to C squared. Or 25 plus 144 is C squared. Or 169 is equal to C squared. 13. Everybody is capable of doing the Pythagorean theorem. If you don't come up with those pieces on the test, I question whether you're trying hard enough. Everybody could get those four. Now, I get it if you can't come up with angle A or angle B. This is going to be a little bit different than what we did yesterday, but not by much. Courtney, would you like to find A or B you choose? A? Sounds amazing. Courtney would like to find angle A. We're going to use angle A. Now, I have to decide whether you use sine, cosine, or tangent, okay? So, Courtney would like to use angle A. If she's going to use angle A, this side is the hypotenuse. What is this side right here? Opposite. What is this side right here? Adjacent. Courtney is now going to make another choice. She's chosen to find angle A. Courtney, do you want to use adjacent and hypotenuse? Or would you like to use opposite and hypotenuse? Or would you like to use opposite and adjacent? You get to choose. You want to use the hypotenuse and opposite. Great. Courtney chose opposite and hypotenuse. You tell me, sine, cosine, or tangent. Why sine? So Katoa, right? Moyer, remember this? Now you know. So she chose opposite and hypotenuse for angle A. That means she chooses sine. So we set up is sine of angle A is equal to the opposite, which is 5, over the hypotenuse, which is 13. How is this different than what you were given yesterday? Okay, it is set up for us with the, uh, we have both the top and the bottom. But what are we missing now that we had yesterday? The angle. When you are looking for an angle, things change. Take out your calculator. Make sure you all come up with the same answer. Because if you don't, we have a problem. Go, go, gadget, calculator. There we go. Okay, I've got my calculator. You want to find the angle. If you are looking for an angle, it changes what you type in. You don't type in sine. Anybody know what you type in instead? The inverse. See how it says sine to the negative 1? That doesn't mean 1 over sine. It doesn't mean sine times negative 1. It means you find the angle. Second, sine inverse. 
and now you type in that 5 over 13. And your calculator will find for you the angle. Turns out it's 22.62 degrees. Everybody on your calculator, make sure you do sine inverse of 5 over 13 and make sure you come up with 22.62. If you do not, let me know and so we can figure out what the heck is going wrong. Issue? Okay, so we got 22.62. Can I now find angle B? How? All three angles have to add two. So I take 180, I subtract off 90, I subtract off 22.62. What do I get? 67.38. triangle is solved. So all the ones on the left hand side, you have an angle, but all the ones on the right hand side, you don't have an angle. That's how I've set up this worksheet. We're going to do one more problem together. You're going to have the rest of the hour to work on this. Okay. Answer key is posted. Let's try number two. C is 10. Angle C is 90 degrees. I'm going to make this side A, or angle A. I'm going to make this angle B, or side B. I'm going to label in the spots that I know. C is 90 degrees. A is 6. C is 10. You tell me what to find first. Side B, great. How? Pythagorean theorem. So I have A squared, or 36, plus B squared is equal to 100. Subtract off the 36, B squared is 64. What is B? 8. Are there any questions how I've operated so far? Okay. Noah, you choose A or B. Noah wants to use angle A. Awesome. That means for angle A, this is the hypotenuse. What is this side right here? Adjacent. What is this side here? Opposite. Noah has chosen angle A. Noah, would you like to use adjacent and hypotenuse? Adjacent and opposite or hypotenuse and opposite? You choose. Adjacent and opposite. Great. He's choosing adjacent and opposite. So which of the three did he choose to use? Sine, cosine, or tangent? Tangent. We set it up tangent of, what's the angle? It's a letter of the alphabet. A is equal to, is it opposite over adjacent or is it adjacent over opposite? Which one is it? Opposite over adjacent, so six over eight. A, I'm trying to find the angle. So what do I press on my calculator instead? Yep, tangent inverse of six over eight. And we come up with 36.87. That'll be angle A, 36.87 degrees. All of the angles have to add 180. I have 180 minus 90 minus 36.87, and I get 53.13. Really quick, I just want to give you a check. What's the largest side, A, B, or C? C. Is C also the largest angle? Good. 
What's the smallest side? Is A also the smallest angle? Yeah. Is angle B and side B in between the other two? Yeah, that doesn't tell you that your results are 100% accurate, but it does say that they are reasonable. The smallest side has to go with the smallest angle. The largest side has to go with the largest angle. So I did two of the problems for you. That leaves you with four to do on your own. You have the rest of the hour to work. You have the answer key posted for you, and I'm ready to help you whenever you need. On your mark, get set, go.